three Western states, California, Oregon, and Washington. And now I understand Hawaii is joining and they're forming a vaccine alliance. What is it called? They're forming a West Coast Health Alliance. Why are they doing this? So vaccine recommendations are done this way in the US. The CDC accumulates data. They, they look at field trials of vaccines and, and so forth. Uh, and then the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, the ACIP, has a meeting and they'd say they make up recommendations for the vaccines. The CDC director approves it. And then the states are told this is what we recommend. The states are not ordered to do anything. They're, it's a recommendation. But now the CDC is no longer trustable. I call it the former agency known as the CDC has been decimated. Many people have been fired. The advisory committee has been all fired and replaced with anti-science, anti-vaccine people who know nothing about data. So nobody trusts their recommendations anymore. This is why Susan Monarez resigned last week because RFK Jr. said to her, I want you to accept all the recommendations of the ACIP. She said, no. And we know what they're going to recommend, that we discontinue a lot of different vaccines. And so what are the states supposed to do? Well, the three Western states have decided to get together and look at the data themselves, have experts look at the data and make recommendations to the people who live in those states. Because, you know, in this country, we take care of people's health. That's the whole idea of a government. But this administration doesn't want to do that anymore. And so these states are taking it into their own hand. And I hope that more states join in. They're going to ignore what the ACIP recommends. They're going to make their own recommendations uh, as well. Now, the problem is already the CDC has not made any announcement about COVID vaccines. And now it's, going, it's getting more and more difficult to get a COVID vaccine in certain states without a prescription. So this is not the way it's supposed to work. And I like this idea that the states are taking over. I just worry that there, there's going to be a little confusion. Uh, you can imagine that red states are going to listen to the CDC and blue states will not. And I think that's unacceptable because did you know viruses and bacteria do not observe state borders? 